Definitely, the, they take the nails for granted. They all have to learn how to use them, get them driven into horses' feet. I think it, it becomes a situation where they find what works for them and they don't think beyond that. Um, there are so many nails on the market, not only different manufacturers, but different styles of manufacturing and uh, different styles of nails. Um, and I think a lot of farriers don't understand not only the wide range of nails that's available to them, but how they're made, how they have been, how they have come to be, and uh, how they can use them better. I think understanding the bigger picture helps you use the products more and, under, and understand how to select them better. Um, years ago, I was at uh, uh, one of these conventions and we have quite an impressive nail display and a young fella came up to me and said, well why do you have all these nails? I've, um, every horse I've ever shot, I only need two nails, two different nails to do it. And I said, well, you probably haven't seen the bigger picture and in my particular career, I think I've used every nail that's out there at one point or another, shoeing different types of horses and I think part of a farrier's education should be that they understand the different styles and, and different uses of nails.